Welcome back. The next topic is the Android attack service, which is a very interesting topic, I would say, because if you are interested in security and how to exploit vulnerabilities, it's good to know what type of vulnerabilities are possible within Android or within mobile in general. So one important resource is OWASP, which is the Open Web Application Security Project. So this is an open source initiative which publishes every year or every few years a list of top 10, for example, with vulnerabilities for web, but also for mobile. And they created a lot more resources. So they created a mobile application security project and also mobile application security testing guide in a verification standard. So if you go to mas.oas.org, you can also see those two things, the security verification standard and the testing guide. So if we start with the verification standard, then OWASP has created these different categories. It's very relevant for the attack service. So you can divide the issues a service into storage. So secure storage of sensitive data, cryptographic functionality, authentication and authorization issues, network issues, platform issues, code issues, resilience issues, and privacy control. And then we have the testing guide. And this testing guide already provides you with a checklist for each category. So if we start with the storage category, then this, you can say this is a checklist. So the first thing to do is testing local storage for sensitive data. And then you get already a description about, for example, you should look into the Android manifest for specific settings which can be vulnerable. And it also mentions some bad practices, I would say, about what to spot in the source code. So yeah, in short, this OWASP uh, mobile application security part is a very useful resource. So I would recommend for sure if you're testing Android applications or mobile applications, because it's also there for iOS, I would for sure look into this guide about how to test and what to test for. And then we have this mobile top 10 2024 from OWASP. So those are all relevant issues. So let's again go to the website of OWASP and then we search for mobile top 10. Then you can get an overview of the issues and also the previous list from 2016. So quite a while ago, but as you can see, some of the issues are just moved to a different place, but are still applicable or maybe even renamed a bit. And in 2024, you can see there are some new categories. For example, this inadequate supply chain security, which is quite a new and quite a hot topic. So a malicious actor tries to infect software, which can be open source software, for example, on GitHub, or some other resources, and then all applications using, for example, this library, if it's a third party library, are affected. So I would recommend to look into this list. And if you click on the different categories, then you get a lot of information about the threat agents. And also the example attack scenarios are very interesting. So in this case, hard coded credentials, they can be stored in the application source code. So for example, if you reverse engineer an application, or just extract the code, for example, with APK tool, then you should search for API keys, credentials, that kind of things. And it can also be insecure data in transmissions. So if you can intercept the network traffic or API calls, you can maybe also find sensitive information and it can also be stored in an insecure way on the device. So this is just an example of the first category and then I don't want to go to all of these categories, but let's look into the third one, insecure authentication authorization, which is also quite broad. So some examples are hidden service requests. So this can be again, if you intercept the network traffic, maybe there are some services in the background which you can manipulate or IDOR, which is also related to API requests, which you can modify. So if there is some flaw in the authentication or authorization fl flow, or just the business logic that you can just change an ID and maybe you can get data of another user. So this is quite similar to web. 
And then another one is insufficient binary protections. So this can be related that you can tamper with the application maybe on runtime if you use a tool like Frida. And then maybe you can bypass lens license check or by reverse engineering and you can change the application logic. So that's quite interesting. So I would advise you to look into all these categories to get a good overview of the top 10 security issues according to OWASP. And you can also go to the Android website, so developer.android.com and then privacy and security risk, which also refers to the OWASP testing guide and has some specific issues which are applicable for Android, like storage issues with pet traversal, for example. And then it gives you also the best practices, how to mitigate the vulnerabilities. So this is really vulnerabilities applicable for Android. This is also a very nice resource. For example, exported activity services broadcast receivers is one of the common issues. So this is also a pretty short and comprehensive list of issues specific for Android. And in general, I think this is similar to the OWASP line. There are specific parts of the application or specific type of issues related to the inter-process communication, the IP within Android, related to data storage or platform issues and code issues. Like for example, those pet traversal issue is an example of a code issue. So a little bit more details for Android. So the IPC, inter-process communication issues, can be, for example, deep link hijacking. So if you're using deep link or application and you don't validate it, so I think it's always a combination as well of coding issues, then that can be a vulnerability or exported broadcast receivers, exported activities. You can say those are all related to the IPC. If you can directly start, for example, an activity, and then maybe you can bypass the login functionality. To give a very simple example, exported content providers, so those can be related to a database, exported services related to some vulnerable service which is running on the background then we have data storage issues which can be related to read write in external or internal storage so file permissions and also the sensitive data which can be exposed via logs notification clipboards or internal storage as well and then we have the platform issues so unencrypted communication can be a platform issue or also insecure third-party libraries. So that's kind of related to the supply chain attacks as well. So this is also a nice picture with the reference mentioned uh, below it. So what are typical issues within Android? So for example, issues related to the IPC mechanism we listed before, issues related to data storage or platform issues or code issues like hard-coded keys or tokens in the code, or maybe a developer created some custom crypto, which is not secure. So that's in short the Android attack service. And in the labs, you can practice with almost all of these clicks. So you will be prepared also for the exam if you want to do it. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.